Ilang topics na summarize natin ngayon? Lance, okay ka lang, Lance? Oo, Lance. Bago lang dami. Sige, tago mo muna lahat yan. Ah, makinig na dito. We have the system... Systems... Of non-linear equation. When we say non-linear... Yung graph nito ay hindi straight line. So, dito na papasok ang ating mga conic sections. What if meron tayong isang constant polynomial? This is a constant, tama? Tapos, alam naman ito? Circle. So, what if meron tayong constant function tsaka circle? Paano natin sila ginagraph? So, pag ginagraph natin dito, Pwede nila i-graph yung constant. Kasi sa y, nasa ba yung y? Y-axis, then x. Hanapin mo lang si 2. Where is 2 located? 1, 2. Then, straight line lang yan. Ito si constant. Nag-graph na natin. Paano naman si... Circle. Siyempre, hanapin mo natin si center. The center here is negative 2, positive 1. Negative 2, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, positive 1, and dito siya. This is the center. Tama ba? Yes. Tapos, the radius is apalitan mo ito. Na yung dapat yan. 83. 83. Para mag-beams. So, meaning, 3 units up. Nagdagan ko na. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Tapos, 1, 2, 3. Ayan. So, from the center, 3 units up. 1, 2, 3. Tapos, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 Sabihan nyo ako pag may error ako ha Error nga Error nga Sabihan nyo nga ako eh Ayos nga So center 1, 2, 3 Tama naman Dito ulit 1, 2, 3 Tama ba? 1, 2 So naki 1 1, 1, 3 1, 2, 3 mas mahaba dito. 1, 2, Wala to, ha? Ang layo ni 4 at 5. Ito yung malayo. Dapat hanggang dito. Dito lang dapat. So, this is now the circle. Imagine the circle. Now, sa system of non-linear, kukunin natin yung intersection points nung dalawang graphs po natin. So, this is the y is equal to 2 and ito naman ay ito. So, saan sila nag-intersect yung dalawa? Dito and here. This time, hindi natin alam kung anong eksakto kasi ito ay between 4, negative 4 and negative 5. Ito naman, between 0 and 1. Kailangan natin makuha yung exact coordinate niya. So, i-recall mo na natin yung lesson ninyo nung grade 8. Lalo nyo ito? This is grade 8. System of linear. O, linear lang tayo nung grade 8. Sa so, system of linear, we have two methods. Kung natatandaan nyo pa si substitution and si e okay. So, let's say meron tayong x plus 2y is equal to 5 and 2x plus 
3y is equal to 7. Yan. Let's say substitution muna yung pansolve natin. Hahanapin natin si x and y. Kasi pag rinaf natin itong straight line na to, dalawang straight line, may intersection point yung mga yan. Now, yung makukuha natin x and y value, yun yung intersection point ng dalawa. Kuha nyo? So, hanapin muna natin by substitution. Now, kapag mag-substitute tayo, ano mas mabilis i-manipulate? Yung first equation or the second? Sino siya? <laughs> yung una o yung pangalawa? Pangalawa ba? Bakit pangalawa? Substitution ha, substitution. Para makuha si x, ano lang gagawin natin? Sa una, transpose lang natin, di ba? Eh di mas mabilis i-manipulate yung una. Itong si x. So magiging x is equal to 5 minus 2y. That is by substitution. Meaning, yung x dito, may value na tayo, ipapalit natin sa x nung nasa second equation. So, ito ay magiging 2 times 5 minus 2y plus, just copy, 3y is equal to 7. So, let's substitute na tayo. We're looking now for y. Sa so, y, mamaya na kopihin, distribute, for 2 times 5, 2 times negative 2, plus 3y is equal to 7. Next, combine like terms. Combine na natin si negative 4y. So negative y is equal to 7 minus. Now, negative, negative y yan. O oh, sige, negative y muna. Simplify natin ito. 7 minus 10, negative 3. Therefore, y is... Three. Positive 3. Bakit positive? We multiply by negative the equation para maging positive C. 1. Positive. Now, since meron na tayong value ni Y, nakuha niyo to? Okay, balikan natin yung first equation para makuha naman yung value ni X. So, by substitution, X is equal to 5 minus 2 times 3 x now is equal to 5 minus 6. So, x is negative 1. Negative 1. So, anong coordinates natin? The intersection point is negative 1, positive 3. Diyan sila mag intersect So, pag graph natin, matunan ba kayo mag-graph? Kung dapat matunan kayo. So, pag enough natin ito, we can use the x and y intercept. x and y intercept, let's say, x plus 2y is equal to 5. To find the x intercept, let y be 0. If y is 0, 2 times 0, wala na yan. So, x is 5 na lang. So, ang coordinate natin is 5, 0. So, where's 5, 0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 0. Dito na. 5, 0. Yan yung x-intercept. Now, if sa so y-intercept naman, let x be 0. So, x plus 2y pa din is equal to 5. If x is 0... Iti-divide na lang natin to ng 2. So, ang y natin ay 5 over 2. In decimal, that is 2.5. So, ang coordinate natin, 0, 2.5. So, saan si 0, 2.5? 0, tapos 1, 2.5. Nandito siya. Gets? So, meron na tayong intercept. Ito yung magiging graph natin. Natama dito. At pupunta dun sa another point. 
Yan yung line na y plus 2y is equal to 5. Hanapin naman natin si 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. So, x and y intercept pa din. Kita na lang ang ganitin. So, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. So, if x is 0, wala na si x dito. So, y now is 7 over 3. In decimal, what is 7 over 3 in decimal? 2.33? D, ah. Divided by 3. Diba? 33, 33, 33 yan. 2.33. Or 2.3. 2.33. So, ang coordinate nito is 0, tapos 2.33. 0, then 2.33 1, 2 0.33 and dito, ay lang kung magkadikit sila tapos yung isa naman if y is 0 we have 2x is equal to 7 divide by 2 x is 3.5 so, ang coordinate na to is 3.50. Where's 3.5? 1, 2, 3.5. Gitna ni 3 and 4. So, yung graph natin ngayon, dito yung dalawang point. Ito yung isa, tatama dun sa y-intercept. Ayan sila. Mag-cross sila. Now, yung intersection or the crossing point, I negative 1, 3. Negative 1, tapos 1, 2, 3. And dito yung ating. Yun yung ating magiging solution. Sir, do we need to graph? O sa engineering school, sa mga mag-engineering, ginagraph yan. Lalo pa, yung mga, di ba sa Mapua kasi, sa, ang stem ng Mapua, Lahat ng pang math, dito kayo. Lahat ng pang engineering, ibang section kayo. Lahat ng pang science, yung mga nursing, doctor, ibang section kayo. Ganun siya. Ganun sa mapuwa. Specialized lahat. Unlike sa atin kasi, halo-halo, o gusto po maging doctor, gusto po maging uh, engineer, classmate kita. Maganda yung specialized na. So, ganito yung nagiging system nila. O, makinig na. Now, sir, paano naman si elimination? Si elimination, ano root word? Eliminate. To eliminate something, you can use cancellation method. Pero yung given kasi natin, x plus 2y is equal to 5. 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. Pwede na ba tayong mag-eliminate? <coughs> Hindi pa pwede. Kasi in elimination, it's either addition or subtraction. Para makancel either x or c, y. So, para makapag-eliminate ka, i-manipulate muna natin. Dapat magkaparehas yung numerical coefficient. Sino gusto niya i-cancel out first? Si X or si Y? Y. Y. X or Y? X. X ang una. Okay. Kung gusto mo ba i-X, i-cancel si X, anong gagawin mo sa first equation para maging 2 ang X? Multiply mo ito ngayon ng 2. Yung buong equation. Para maging 2x, tapos 2 times 2, plus 4y, is equal to 2 times 5, 10. Okay? Then copy na lang ito, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. Subtract, makakansin mo yung si x, then 4 minus 3, y, equal to 10 minus 7. Nakuha na natin yung value ngayon ni y. Wow. Next, 
Gusto naman natin i-cancel si Y. Sige, kopihin natin. Yung ko niyan. Sir, five. Five. Okay. Dito naman, kapag gusto natin i-cancel si Y, dapat magkaparehas yung coefficient. So, imamanipulate natin yung first equation and second equation. Ano yung multiply natin sa first? Si 3. So, 3 times x? 3 times 2y? 6y. Is equal to 3 times 5? 15. Ito naman, multiply natin ito ng 2. 2 times 2x? 2 times 3y? 6y. Is equal to? 14. Now, by subtraction, we can now cancel out y. 3x minus 4y? x. Negative? x. Is equal to? 1. Negative pa to, so x is equal to negative 1. So, our coordinate is negative 1. Dapat, pag ginamit mo sa elimination, tsaka sa substitution, patayas yung lalatas. In some cases, mas maganda mix. Kasi mas mabilis i-manipulate sa elimination. Now, pag nakapag-eliminate ka na, ipapasok mo ngayon yung substitution. Para makuha mo ito. Okay lang naman yun. Now, hanapin natin. Ano ba intersection ng dalawang ito? Balik na tayo sa system of planning. Since given si standard form is circle dito, at ito ay constant function, ano mas madaling way? The elimination or the substitution? Substitution. Okay. Kasi papalitan lang natin si y ng 2. So, magiging x plus 2 squared. Substitution na na tayo. Plus 2 minus 1 squared is equal to 9. Ito, kailangan natin expand. So, x squared plus 4x plus 4. 2 minus 1. 1 squared plus 1 is equal to 9. Now, we have x squared plus 4x plus 5 o ilipat na si 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. x squared plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. Is this a perfect? PST ba ito? Perfect squared by naman yan? x squared plus 2. No. Si PST lagi perfect sa third term. Tama? Tama? So, may factors ba tayo? Makukuha pa natin siya by factoring? Makukuha pa siya by factoring? Genesis? Hindi, sabi ni Genesis. Positive to negative 2? If the level positive, positive times positive, then positive 4 dapat. Kapag positive negative, square, difference, sum and difference of 2 square, sum and difference of? Dots na yun. Difference of 2 squares. May factor wala. Dito ka. Solve for x. I-factor is low. Frankie? Quadratic na. Meron wala. 
Dapat may value tayo between ang value natin na una between 0 and 1, tapos between negative 4 and negative 5. Mayroon tayong dapat value ni x. Pero not factorable siya. Pag not factorable, anong alternative? Quadratic. quadratic formula. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 4, C is negative 4. So X is equal to, can you recite negative B? Uh, square plus, plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4A. All over 2 So then the memorize to. So negative 4 plus minus square root of 4 square 16 minus 4 times 1 times over 2 times 1. So negative 4 plus minus square root of 16 negative times negative positive 4 times 1 times 4 16 all over 2 now we have negative 4 plus minus square root of 16 plus 16 32 32 can we factor out by 16 times 2 over 2 now negative 4 plus minus square root of 16 or square root of 2 over 2 simplify Negative 4 divided by 2, negative 2. Plus minus 4 divided by 2, 2. Square root of. So, ito na siya. Ang x sub 1 natin ay negative 2 plus 2 square root of 2. While x sub 2 is negative 2 minus 2 square root of 2. May ano? Oh, 11 pala. Mamaya na nga. So we have Ano coordinates natin? We're going to input this in your calculator. Ano value natin? In decimal. Dapat ano yan? Ang value niya between negative 4 at negative 5. Oh, uh, dito siya positive. 0. 0. 0.83 comma ang y daw natin ay 2. Ito siya yung value natin. Andiyan siya between 0 and 1. While here ang value niya is between negative 4 and negative 5. Tama. So, yan na yun yung intersection point ng ating graph. Yan ang systems of nandito. Okay, go pehe.